Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at using conditional formatting data bars with pivot tables and a couple options that you have in setting those up on your pivot table. So let's take a look. Here I have a large table, 5,000 rows of data. And I'm going to create a pivot table. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, Pivot Table, put it on a new worksheet, say OK. And I'm going to take a region and throw it into rows, uh, sales team into rows, and the extended values and throw it into the values. I'm going to close my field list. And let me do some formatting here. Go to field settings, number formatting, number, take away the decimal places, thousand separators, OK and OK. And I'm just going to widen this a little bit here. And I'm also going to just copy it so we have two copies of the pivot table so I can show you two different methods here. Widen that a bit, and also I'm going to widen that out a bit. Okay, so now we have two copies of our pivot table. So let's say I want to show the data bars from conditional formatting on these values here so I can compare visually each salesperson and how they did. If I highlighted all the values, went to the Home tab, Conditional Formatting, Data Bars, and selected the one I want to use, you can see that the conditional formatting uh, is somewhat uh, distorted by the fact that the grand total having the largest number uh, has the largest data bars, and then the subtotals here have the second largest set of data bars, and those all distort the values uh, for the individual salespeople. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Now, what I can do then is I can just highlight just the individual values for the salespeople. And this is a somewhat OK way to do that. Again, I can select data bars here, select that, and now it's giving me the proper data bar expressions for the individual salespeople, ignoring the subtotals and the grand total. And now I can see that the three salespeople from the Northeast region uh, are doing the best, and uh, you can see how the other ones fared as well. But another option to doing that, especially if you have a lot of different regions trying to select the individual areas using your control key, can be a little bit tedious. So what you can do is highlight all the areas, ignoring the top regional uh, value and then the bottom grand total. Select conditional formatting, your data bars, and select the ones you want. Notice this little menu that appears down at the bottom here. If I click the down arrow here and select all cells showing some of extension values for sales team, now it gives me exactly the same set of data bars as I have with my first pivot table where I highlighted just the salespeople using my control key to select different data groups. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.